Right. Welcome, welcome to TD4 Electrical. I'm Howard Hayes, Director of Minority Business Development, and we're here to celebrate an outstanding company, one of the best in the city. TD4 Electrical President Tommy Davis and his team. Right now, the program is about to start. Again, we want to welcome all of you here uh, to these outstanding offices. And our host this evening, this afternoon, will be the mayor of the city of St. Louis, Mayor Francis Slay. Mayor? Well, thank you, Howard, and, and good afternoon, everyone. First of all, I just want to thank Howard for his uh, great leadership as our Minority Development Director uh, at St. Louis Development Corporation in the city of St. Louis. He does a great job, and we're very proud to have uh, Howard and his leadership on our team. We are also with uh, Rodney Krim, who's the Executive Director of Development. Uh, Candace is with us as well, and uh, who works with my staff in my office. Uh, Harry Maupin's here from the airport, uh, who works on uh, contract compliance and, uh, and minority, minority participation on contracts in the city. Michael Holmes is here from the St. Louis uh, Agency on Training and Employment. Uh, all of these individuals are very capable, competent, and outstanding members of my team in city government, and I'm so proud to work with all of them. But we're here today to celebrate an outstanding city business, a business that has uh, taken a lot of hard work and uh, a lot of uh, ingenuity, uh, a lot of risk, uh, and, um, and a whole lot of family members working together with others to create a business that, uh, that's been successful. And really, um, you know, that's not an easy thing to do. And we're going to really, um, we're, we're going to showcase uh, this business in, in just a moment. I want to recognize Greg Daly, who is the collector of revenue for the city of St. Louis as well. He's a good friend and does a great job in that business. And it is his birthday today, so I want to wish him a happy birthday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, this is... Uh, this is something that I really enjoy doing in the city of St. Louis, is showcasing successful businesses in our city. And, and here we're, we're showcasing a minority business, uh, a business that uh, was started again with, uh, with risk and, and ingenuity and an idea uh, that, was, uh, that, that was something that, uh, that Tommy uh, Davis uh, himself came up with. And um, you know, as mayor, I get a chance to go around and visit businesses all over the city of St. Louis. And what makes the city so attractive to residents and visitors alike is that we have uh, a lot of great places uh, for people to do business and a lot of businesses that, that are you know, servicing our contra contracting uh, community as well as um, our, our entire community. So we have a lot of very good businesses in the city. New venues are constantly being added to make the living in uh, and visiting St. Louis a uh, much more pleasurable experience. Uh, hiring minority businesses uh, is a part and, and being, having a, a good quality minority business community really adds to the diversity of our, of our uh, community as well as makes us stronger as a community because we have a tremendous amount of talent here in St. Louis and our goal is to make sure that we do everything we can to take advantage of all the talent that is there and there certainly is a tremendous amount of talent here at TD4 Electrical. Um, and we know that uh, more and more people are recognizing St. Louis as a great place to do business, and I'm certainly proud to be here today as we put the spotlight on TD4. Founded in 2006, TD4 is a city-certified MBE that provides supply and install electrical contracting services uh, for owners, general contractors, and construction managers. Uh, company president Tommy Davis is a former IBM information technology specialist who was uh, a consultant for local contractors when he learned of the challenges in, uh, that have been uh, uh, being experienced within the, the, within the minority community uh, in St. Louis and trying to attract a more diverse talent in the construction industry in St. Louis. So he wanted to do something about it. That's when, uh, that's when uh, Tommy began building the electrical construction management team and crew of, the ele of electricians that are our TD4. Uh, TD4 staff of 25 has completed a wide array of lighting, wiring, system upgrades, and other installations that are, that are at area universities, health facilities, and entertain, entertainment venues, including the Edward Jones Dome, the Art Museum, River City Casino, Monsanto Corporation, 
BJC Healthcare and Washington University. And in case you're wondering what TD4 stands for, it stands for Tommy Davis and his wife, Tony Davis, and their four children. Wonderful, uh, very beautiful family. Very, very beautiful, very, very impressive family. And certainly, pleasure to be here and, and to join with you today for this celebration. Um, it is one of the many businesses here that I'm proud to have, uh, to have located here in the city. And I certainly congratulate all of you uh, for your success. I want to thank everyone who has been working hard and working together to revitalize St. Louis. And everyone has been involved in working with TD4 and, and Tommy and Tony and, and, and other partners to, to help make this a successful business. Uh, you know, the, I was talking to Tony and he's got a lot of talent. He certainly has a lot of different interesting things that he's working on. Uh, and um, I'd like to sit down and talk to you some more. I mean, he's got, the guy's full of a lot of great ideas. So um, at this time, um, I am here to uh, congratulate you on your successes. Thank you for choosing the city of St. Louis to, to have your business. Thank you for what you do to make St. Louis a better place to do business. Thank you for all you're doing to engage a, a diverse uh, workforce in St. Louis on, on important projects. And on behalf of the city of St. Louis, I am here to present you with the uh, SLDC Business Spotlight Award. So congratulations to you and uh, your family. Thank you. And I wish you all the very best in the future. If you, I mean, if you want to have your family or anybody come up, that'd be, that'd be great. But the, but the, uh, the microphone is yours. Thank you, my, my pleasure. Do you want to stand up? Come on, I want my whole family here, please. Thank you. Hold this, hold this, sir. You know, Lord, I thank you so very much for this opportunity. I thank you for all these, for these wonderful people. I thank you for allowing them to travel here safely, and I pray that they, uh, their return homes is safely. Please continue to bless this city. Bless the people in this city and continue to keep your arms around this business and allow it to grow and benefit others. These are all things we pray in the honor and name of Jesus. Thank you. Uh, uh, first of all, I just you know want to say, and I, most of all you folks know me. I mean, the mayor has said it all, so I really don't. I have a lot to say other than the fact of you know what the award means to me. Uh, it means we did our job. Uh, I mean, that's at the end of the day. That's what we're here to do. We have a job to do, and we greatly appreciate. Uh, the city's recognition, all you people in the room's recognition, um, but the award, you know, there's just really just no words uh, for the award and the, the respect uh, and the acknowledgement. So I just very much want to say thank the city, thank the mayor, thank all the other officials that came out. Um, 2012 for TD4, wow. You know, uh, a lot of people talk about, you know, the phenomenal year we had, okay. Basically what happened in 2012 is myself and the crew, all these men you see back here and the project managers is what we basically said was we got a responsibility. You know, we got a business here that's uh, for the most part, uh, you know, the success and failure is based on what we do. We took the responsibility. We were resourceful. I want to let all you know that everybody here is TD4 and all those pretty happy things. Well, it was tough. It was very tough. Okay. Uh, we were, uh, we had to be resourceful and at the end of the day, we had to be relentless. Uh, and with that being said, you know, it, the group that's here, I want to thank you for pushing through the rain uh, and getting here, and that just is just, uh, an attribute to your relentlessness. Uh, the mayor pretty much gave an overview of the company, so I won't, I won't go into that anymore. Um, the leadership, what drives the company? Uh, what drives this company is the four behind the D. And uh, that's this, these people right here, my kids, my wife and kids. Uh, at the end of the day, that's it. It's a family business. It's about these kids. It's about looking at their eyes in their eyes. It's about looking at my parents' eyes who never gave up on me. And at the end of the day, it's being responsible to you, our customers, our employees, and your families. Um, at the end of the day, in, in closing, I just want to talk about what, what I'm committed to do. And I have a vision. I had a vision seven years ago when I saw TD4. Uh, I, my background is technology. Uh, I never knew, had no clue about construction, let alone electrical. Uh, I've educated myself in it. I've had some very good people who've taught me, but at the end of the day, the commitment I make is about taking this thing to the next level. Uh, what the mayor talked about, and when I say the next level, I'm not talking about TD4. I'm talking about the fact that people that I'm looking at, uh, the Matt Collins, uh, the Lee Harpers, I uh, can't see everybody's out there, you know, the Rick Ortleys, you know, everybody that's in this room, 
we didn't do anything without you guys. We did what you allowed us to do. And what we want to do is take this thing to the next level. We feel that this is only the beginning for the ability for the minority and majority contractors to work together and to grow the city. So it's all about one vision and it's all about the next level. Thank you. TD4 was to develop to create a solution. Uh, I had the great fortune of working for some fine companies like IBM and AG Edwards. And oftentimes when people start businesses, they come up with something they like and open a business and then go out and see if people want to buy it. Well, what, we, what I learned is that you find out what people are looking for and then you go develop it and then sell it to them. And so basically we established TD4 to provide a solution. Uh, I work for a very large general contractor here in St. Louis as a diversity coordinator. And what I was able to understand were the challenges that the minority contractors had, but as well as the prime contractors. And at the end of the day, it was about how can we provide a quality product at a competitive price to the owner. And so TD4 has a purpose. We have a vision, and that is uh, to provide that quality service, that vision.